What's up everyone? A chilly mid-morning, I guess you could say. It is. We usually come out here later in the day and at least the sun's out. I had to go back in the house to get my coat. Normally oh. we come out and it's lunchtime. Mm -hmm. We take our lunch break and we come out here and do the video. But today, our kids are at home so we took the day off. Because they don't have school so. Yeah, so we don't have to work. <laughs> so uh, we got some updates in here. The kale is dead. Yeah, we kind of were thinking that way, leaning that way last week and... We can pull it and give it to the chickens if we want. Mm -hmm. Same with the collards, don't think they're coming back. Uh, and it looks like the lettuce too. Yeah. The spinach is starting to get a little wilty, so I'm gonna plug the heat tape back in and let that go and help them out at least. But yeah. yeah, hopefully we can still get some spinach out of here. We haven't even picked any of it yet, which is... No. <laughs> we also have, I think it's this whole next week is going to be cold, like single digits for the high and negative teens for the low again. So, be a good week to leave that thing plugged in. This last week was pretty warm, actually. We had a pretty decent week. Yeah, I think when we, I say warm, it was like mid 30s or yeah. mid 20s and like a day or two in the 30s. We were both talking about how we thought it felt like springtime, like spring was coming. Yeah. And oh, I kind of hate those moments because you you kind of get excited and then yeah no not so much <laughs> so our herbs in here mostly don't look great but there's a lot of life still left in them when you look really down at the base of them. So I am hoping that these just kind of stay alive into next year and then come back up and are doing good. I don't believe, I just ordered seeds last week and I don't believe I ordered, I did not order any lavender, um, rosemary, I didn't order. I was kind of on the fence about that, but I think this is going to live through. That's why the fennel, I did not order, but I actually have some more seeds. So if this doesn't work out, um, at least we have that. I did have some oregano seed. And then our sage. This seems to be the herb that is doing the best in here. It also is right where the heat type is started. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. Kind of tucked in the corner here, but it is doing so well. So I'm really, really hoping it continues to do this well and grows into next year because I did not order any seed and we are really enjoying using that fresh sage. Um, we're not using it fresh, I guess. We're drying it and then we have it in the cupboard just to use in all of our dishes and that's been really nice. So I'm hoping that it lasts. The other herbs that we purchased for next year were cilantro. Um, we did have some dill seed and we did save quite a bit of dill seed, so we have that. And I did purchase some Italian basil. We also have some lemon balm that we've never planted. And I think that's about it. There might be a few other things I'm forgetting, um, but I'm really excited to be saving more of our herbs as we go year by year. Are we leaving the lettuce and collards for now? No. Those are all good. Pull it all? Well, not the spinach. No, I won't pull the spinach. Spinach will be all right. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Willie. Oh, and then I broke the root. That's that right. That ground's kind of hard without it being heated. Well, if nothing else, the chickens will be so excited for this. Yep. It's like us eating vegetables, right? If the chickens have veggies, then it's like us getting it when we have eggs. Sure. That'll make sense. <laughs> if that was the case, I'd feed them cilantro every day. <laughs> cilantro? Ooh, yeah. if it tasted like it, Amy? Yeah. Cilantro and good. garlic. Ooh, num. A little onion, too. Onion. Well, I guess we might as well just go full bore and do cilantro, onion, garlic. Fresh salsa, basically. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> fresh salsa. This actually every smells egg. really good. This, like, fresh greens. <laughs> It's probably good that we're doing this actually because now when we do seed starting, 
Oh, we can just set them right. Work. We can put more in here. Start these earlier, even. Yeah, not a bad idea. Because the bed will be heated from this the a little carrot. the heat tape. So that's this section will work out really good. This I might be a blessing right. in the disguise. Most things are. Oh, I can't get that one. <laughs> these couple ones. weeds. Look at weed. I think this cord got unplugged over there. It's by their toys. Because this is all plugged in. That light's not on. Kids. The plug was just hanging in the outlet, so it was unplugged. So hopefully it doesn't wreck that heater. So I really think us pulling that is going to be beneficial because, for one, I want to get more dirt in here anyways. So we can put dirt in there, not to worry about killing anything. And the heat tape in there, as long as it doesn't get unplugged from the house, <laughs> will keep things warm. So we can actually, I'm thinking if we t pull the sides down, seal the ends off. And we probably have to raise it in the day in the next couple of months here because it's gonna get too warm. But I'm thinking we can do our seed starts in there, especially like the peppers, because it'd be a heated bed. So it's like a heat mat almost. So I think it'll work in our work in our favor for sure. So we really only have spinach left in this bed. Because the pots, the herbs, we can take all that out when the time comes. So and then same with the carrots. I think when I start adding dirt, we'll have to see what carrots are doing well and pull them to and re restart it and put a bunch of uh, compost in there. So, and I might add sand to this bed. This one here for the carrots, just so it has easier, lighter soil to break through. It's better for carrots, sand or soil. Do you think next year we'll do carrots in that bed? I think we'll end up putting them in this bed and do greens over here. With this dry. heated, I don't, I don't know, because the spinach does really good over here. It does do really well. So I doubt we'll do carrots over here because that'll be a pain trying to fork it out. Maybe it's time we buy a second heating tape. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do the carrots. Uh, my fear is with the carrots, if we use a fork, we're gonna hit the heat tape. That's what. Right. So right. Yeah. things to think about, move around. But we haven't mastered the carrots by no means either in here, anyways. So, yeah. a lot to fix yet. <laughs> well, chickens are happy. Yeah. <laughs> At least somebody's getting those greens. Alrighty. Well, that concludes our little video. Hope you liked it. Glad you guys see us again. Bye. <laughs> Bye.